you're still watching ways now we're just gonna go straight to what we found in the news okay because ak story is a bit different from ours yeah, so so let's, take yeah let's take yours first so we have cbn orders to freeze 194 accounts in 17 banks mm -hmm. now this is an emerging story and i and i i guess with a couple of months or as it unfolds because they're in court we would we would um you know find out what it is about but why this story was interesting to me because CPN is both regulator and punisher. I think the, the roles, these multiple roles that the you CBN play, role. a lot of people have complained about it. Mm. You know, you are the one that makes the rule, you're the one that punishes for the role. And I'm thinking because, you know, I'm thinking, should we have, you know, a separate arm that actually, who checks CBN? And mm. I think it was just important for me to bring this up because of what we're going to be discussing today and in the light of everything. And I think that there's a huge role communication has to play. Mm -hmm. So what are things are for the good of the populace, for the citizens? We don't know because of the way it's been communicated. Yeah. You just wake up and one day you hear, the, the, you know, the topics that we're going to be talking about today. And you leave so much room. There's this information ambiguity. You leave room for people to now populate with whatever they think that it is. And I think that that arm that is responsible for communication has a lot to do. Really, they do have a lot to do. Because when you leave things subject to people's interpretation, we will keep interpreting, we will keep trying to make sense of what it is well, that I you're feel trying to what do. You but said not earlier, discuss I across all, uh, across no, all what borders. Was saying, and... What uh, Ike even said earlier, yes. I think I feel it's the same way too. We should have a body that checks CBN. You cannot mm. be the judge and the jury at the same time. We, we should have a body that also check mates and check balances, you know. That, yeah, 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 because if CBN is, is biased towards a certain thing, all mm. of a sudden, you know, you will just see it play out. You know, we can't keep having that. There should be a body that also controls what CBN can do and reduce, I mean, certain the kind power. of power that like, they have. There should be like some sort of power yeah. separation, you know, mm. as we're talking about. And, and, and also, I feel that we need to do a lot about educating the populace. What we're going to talk about today is very important because I have so many questions. You know, with one breath, you're talking about financial inclusion, you're mm. talking about driving technology, you're talking about performing on global stage. Mm. And on the other hand, we are just seeing actions that are contrary to the things that you want to promote. Mm. So Precisely. I'm really, really looking forward to, to the conversation. Uh, conversation. Yeah. Mm. All right, Isi, let's come to you. What do you find first in the news? Okay, in the news, we are all aware about the fact that mm. um, the Prince of uh, Edinburgh, Ed Edinburgh actually passed on Prince Philip, who happens to be the husband of the Queen, Queen, of Sec, uh, Queen Elizabeth II, and he passed on at the age of 99. He was born in 1921, and he mm. died in 2021. And he's, um, he's been married to the Queen for about 73 years, wow. so that's a long time. And um, what actually, you know, struck me about this man is the fact that there has been no scandal in any context uh, see, let's about him no, no let's let's no for real there hasn't been any scandal mm -hmm. and secondly um he died this morning mm, and he sad. has been the longest serving male consort royal consort consort in uh since um the queen uh queen victoria in the 1800s till today so um we have to give it up to them, but there they're was something that has of, also they're, they're happened. He's one of the few men that mm. also fought in the World War Two. Exactly. Mm -hmm. One of the few. So you exactly. know the, the one that really pains me. So it's a few months, is, but the, he should have just closed. Oh, he If I, that was the yeah. first question, yeah. Yeah. when I told my son, so sad because yeah. I met them watching something else. I was telling them that are you people aware of what's happening in the news today? Then I said, what well, I said, the um, the king of I mean, sorry, the prince of. Uh, Edinburgh, Edinburgh, I mean the, Edinburgh is yes. his late. I, the next question my son would ask is, "Mommy, um, when was he supposed to turn 100? Yeah. And I said, "Oh." Yeah. <laughs> and another thing one. is this: that he died on the day of um, today. Is supposed to be Prince Charles's and the Duchess of Cornwall, Camilla's uh, wedding anniversary. anniversary. Wow. So it's a. Uh, a mixed, it's a mixed feeling, feeling. Yeah. you know for the funny thing is that right you know now. it's just an unfortunate incident because for a very long time it's just going to mar the anniversary hmm. yeah it, very it is long time. because you will just remember that it was on the anniversary that my father died yeah but still at that they're, they're still attacking uh what's her name megan markle 
right now in on social media in, in respect of it I yeah mean, the that woman she cost it. that she, she, they're looking for a way to blame her for but it. they can't well, well you know what well, you know before. i was going to say that i mean because we were having this conversation and i was talking to my sister faith and she was saying that so what the, what will happen to the grandchildren so they will not be able to attend you know the funeral of their great grandfather. Well, because let's not speculate that. They I'm just will not saying. Be no, I'm just saying that because you see that scandal for me. I don't know why people are backing it. It was needless. It was needless. See, my dear, there are some things that you just let to slide. It was needless. And yeah. you remember that that was what they were saying that he was in a critical. Um, who are, um, who are, I would not. I would not. I would no not. Um, I would not align to but that. But another thing because is it was this, in a critical condition. She shouldn't live her life. Mm, see, no, apart from shouldn't live her life, that, I wouldn't like a situation that, where that, people that like That interview was needless. Ooh, and, I and, and, you are, and you are trailing that line I think, to I think, think that I'm not what, they have, what they should have done, knowing the critical condition, health condition of the Duke, they should have just, you know, it, um, kept that information Why are we away tying from this thing to? Why are we tying Megan? We're not tying. We are saying no, what people are saying. We are just talking. Yeah, yeah, but what no, happened? I mean, okay, what what happened? Happened? I mean, why are people online. tying it? Because number one, you do not know the nature of the illness. Mm. So we cannot say, and I think this comes from Hollywood, uh, Nollywood films. When you see that, somebody heads the news. Ah, ah, ah. And they <laughs> See, the man has, has tried. Ninety nine. Ninety nine is, is a good age. Is a good age. I just to wish go. it looked hundred though. Yeah, I do. All right. I so in my story, just to follow up, um, mm -hmm. the Queen of England, she is um, um, going to go into an eight day period of mourning following the death of her husband, Prince Philip, and um, oh. she would not be carrying That's out any duties, in the, uh, um, any duties even in private. Laws will not be given, and the royal assent and um, affairs of state will also be paused. Yeah, no. Um, following this um, eight days, a further period of official royal mourning is expected to continue for 30 days. Okay. Um, Buckingham Palace, in a statement, said that the prince um, died peacefully. Mm -hmm. So hopefully, I don't know. This is actually sad. You know what is scary for me? Mm. Um, because, you know, they were, I think just about two days ago, I was watching, was it CNN? I was watching when they were talking about the next um, king. king. But it's not going to be Charles. It's going to be William. You know, what's, what's scary for me is, you know, when somebody has lived together for years, exactly. uh, it's, it's, it's going to take a huge toll on the queen. I'm just Absolutely. hoping she will be able it's to, really it's going to take, because it's not easy. Usually like this, and they follow each other. 73 years. <laughs> I'm telling you, they follow each other. As in, it is one, as one is going, back the other one back. say, wait for me, I'm coming. Because I'm I've seen this play you. out all the time for a fairly long-standing couple. Yeah. You, I mean, you will see that once one leaves, it's almost like the, the other person can't cope. Take so that's it. the only fear. I'm having now, but even at that, she has also lived a good life, you know, and all of that. So Her Majesty, I am sure she she will be more be than happy. Than with yeah, him. she's, she's stronger strong, than right? Yes. She is. She is. It, it, I mean, the woman strong, drove her car to strong. to have her meeting with uh, Meghan Markle and uh, her husband. So I mean, the woman is a gangster. Yeah. <laughs> no matter how strong, it's, uh, you know, someone is, who has the point. You know, yeah. you've lived with someone for, for years, absolutely over seventy years, and, and that that kind of loss is a big blow. No matter how old the person is, yeah. Yeah. absolutely, no matter how old. Yeah. absolutely. Totally. So our heart is with our with heart them. is with them. She so. said her strength <laughs> and her stay has gone. Yeah. So it, it really, it's really, you know, it's, taking it's a toll. It's take a huge on toll her. on her, totally. honestly. Totally. All right, our heart goes out to the family, oh. and we are praying that um, God comforts them at this time. All right, so we'll see you guys after the break to discuss fintech. <laughs> we'd want to stay with us. Oh. We'll be right back.